we are illegally in a country we haven't cleared into, anchored in something that is marked very clearly not allowed to anchor due to the fact that it is a former World War II minefield. So we could blow up any second now. I hear it in the rainfall Echoing big halls As we left Montenegro to begin our 250 nautical mile passage to Corfu, we were blessed with very clement conditions. But then, about 30 nautical miles into the trip, something very ominous was brewing on the horizon. to live thinking oh, I can't keep my eyes open I need to go and make a cup of tea I just heard the dolphin sound so last night it was pretty hellish we had three different thunderstorms coming from different directions and we thought well the odds are that we're gonna run into one if that had happened the electrics would have all gone on the boat and what that means is no means of navigation were still happening but they looked like they got a bit further away so we made the decision to carry on going and the storms were still there the whole time so we were on edge but none of them really made it onto our course so that was really lucky so we, we did watches of two hours each Jackson's in bed swings and roundabouts the sailing business. One minute you're tearing your hair out thinking that you're gonna have to set your EPIRB off and then the next you're just worshipping sunrises and looking at dolphins with your sails up going four knots. What is this world? Just woke up from a little nap after doing all my night shifts. We finished our first full overnight passage last night, which was past the coast of Albania. Yesterday we had such a lovely sail. 14 and 18 knots off the beam or just behind and cruising. And then at about seven o'clock last night, this like little storm cell that you can see brewing out to sea just came flying in and was over us in about 20 minutes and brought 30 knots. And that was a really scary experience. But high five. Did our high first five. overnight passage. That's Dude. the first full overnight passage I've done like that. Oh, yeah, first for both of us. We've been sailing for 20 hours straight now. Well, one thing's for sure, hope tonight is a little bit smoother than last night. Yeah. 
been a very eventful couple of hours on Avalon. <laughs> Hasn't it, Captain? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> We're currently a little bit soaking wet and we are illegally in a country we haven't cleared into, anchored in something that is marked very clearly not allowed to anchor due to the fact that it is a former World War II minefield. So we could blow up any second now. There's also a huge party ship anchored in here as well. And they don't look like they've nailed anchoring. So maybe we need to backtrack to what just happened. We're sailing in a nice little 10 knot breeze. Oh, it was gorgeous. Well, you don't know about it because you're asleep. Oh, shut up. I was there for a moment and then I thought, this is so clement, I'm going to sleep because Jackson's fine. We came around uh, the point of this little island. I was looking at the maps going, you know what? We're only actually 60 miles from Corfu. We're probably going to be there around like <laughs> 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock tonight. You're dreaming. I mean, it was just like overcast, it wasn't super sunny. And then as we came around the island, the wind just died. It just went to nothing. And I pulled the jib in, and I was just motoring with the main up. And then the clouds just started forming in front of us. And they looked very similar to the ones yesterday where they just Anvil kind of- clouds. Spend. My sister taught me about anvil clouds, so they're the ones that are puffy at the top and then flat at the bottom like an anvil and they've got a really black flat bottom and that they spell warning, there's always thunder under those. Yeah, well, mm. and then I reckon within about four to five minutes the breeze came in at about 20 knots. I don't want to start thinking about what would have happened if we hadn't pulled that main in. The bimini started going a bit nuts. So, I'm then <laughs> just putting the bimini away. Oh, the anchor alarm's going off. They make life a lot easier. Anchor apps are the way to go. That's, that's our little us. Truck, and that's what set off the alarm. We but just teetered over the edge. I've set, I've set quite a short radius on this one. Indicate whether or not we're going to get exploded by a mine. They need to invent an app like that for the Balkans, anyway. Back to our story. So, in the space of me putting the bimini away, the breeze went from 20 knots to 30 knots. At that point, the main started sort of flapping out of its lazy jack, so I zipped that up, tidied that up, and then looked up and the storm cell was there. Thunder, rain, mm. lightning bolts. I was like, fuck. So came down, woke up Sleeping Beauty. Quite nicely. <laughs> that, was, that was very nice. Oh, just give me a couple of minutes. I'm just waking up and I'm like, mm, I think we might need to uh, express that. And little panda pops her head out and goes, oh, it'll be right, just keep going. <laughs> And I'd already started turning the boat by that point. It didn't look that bad. I didn't. I wasn't privy to the information that there was thunderbolts. I just thought, yeah, let's just shoot through it. You know, let's not be, let's not be pansies about this. But it was 40 we, knots on the nose. We did the right thing. Well done, Captain. I just hope that it's a bit too rainy for the Albanian Coast Guard or Customs oh to God. just stay indoors today. We've got. Don't come out checking permits. We've got. We've still got our. We've got our Montenegrin flag. Just to just to oh, add no. add insult to injury for the Albanians that were illegally in their country. Actually, I might go take that down. Now. Yeah, I asked you to take it off so long ago, and you're Will like, you oh, take it off? I'm not going up there. I don't know how to. You attached it. I had a little fiddle with it, and then you saw me. I pulled it down. I was going to just take like it the washing up. Like, I don't know how to. I'm not going to do that anymore. You're a nightmare, Jackson. <laughs> Fuck, if it, uh, mate, if it wasn't for me, you'd be punched into a thunderstorm at probably 50 knots out there now. Yeah, I'd be having a right old time. That's what sailing's about. 
go in and put all your wet weather gear on. Yeah, because I've, I bought it and I've never really been able to use it, so I got really and, excited. And then proper, like, a wave just crashed over the whole boat. Oh, so I had my wet weather gear on and I was all tucked, I was sitting in the cockpit, just all tucked behind the bimini. Jackson just had a pair of shorts on and his little spray jacket and a, a wave, he got barreled, a wave just went <laughs> pew, pew, like splash. Got full barrel. I wasn't filming it, unfortunately. Sorry, I'll, I'll get him. I'll get him again. I'm sure there's going to be many more times like this. And then just when we're about to anchor, we finally picked our spot. All right, let's go anchor. No wait. I must go do my pool. <laughs> and then we had to wait another 15 minutes for Zampy to do her toilet routine. When you gotta go, you gotta go. All right, you gonna go dive on the anchor? I'm having a good hair day today, Jackson. Don't make me get it wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna. What are we gonna do? I'm probably not gonna sleep. Should we play cards? Play cards. Um, Cry. I think I've got some old Netflix or something. Could watch a movie on a laptop. There's a really good one I've heard called um, Adrift. <laughs> Should we watch that one? That that was you today. Oh, there's a storm coming. Sail straight into it. <laughs> yeah, I know what to do. I've seen a movie about it. Anyway. Alright. We've just buttoned down the hatches. See you on the other side. Got really nervous because the music from the party ship got really loud. I thought, ah, oh, they're on top of us. But no, they've just cranked it up and they're having an Albanian dance party. It's so cute. They're all on the dance floor. Dear Mummy and Daddy, I had a very pleasant holiday in Albania. We got absolutely soaked, it was lovely. We only lasted a day, then we headed out to Greece for higher climbs. Just, um, <laughs> we reckon we can make it now. We just had a, a huge thunderstorm come through and there's the captain if you're wondering. Had a huge thunderstorm come through and it looks kind of heavenly beyond. So we're just going to poop all around the corner, see what's there. And if it all goes to plan, we're only um, 50 nautical miles away from Corfu. So should be there in 12 hours time, if everything goes to plan. Hey babe, I've got some really good news, I'm so sorry. No, you didn't really. I did. You just broke the key. Yeah. The other half is in the hatch. Guess that's what you're fixing later. Am I fired? Another problem to add to the pile. Yeah, that can go under your boat. Then. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So 
So we're not actually sure if we're gonna get into Greece. We're gonna give it a go. We, we don't have the original um, registration certificate as you all will know because we've only just got the registration and it's been sent to our house in Australia. So we're waiting for our friend. What? Sorry. Sorry? Oh my god! All right, Xanthi's going for a dive later. Dropped Jackson's water bottle in the water, which is annoying. But anyway, as I was saying, we don't have our rego papers physically. We've just got a copy, and that was a problem in Montenegro. And apparently, they're even more stringent in Greece. Um, so we're concerned, but. I've heard a few whispers that if you've got a very lovely copy, i.e. laminated, they might consider letting you in. So we're going to give that a go. We, we got it copied on the finest paper and we got it laminated. So fingers crossed, hey. Yes! Yes! High five. Chopping off my head. <laughs> We got in! We, we are free to sail the waters of Greece. They weren't very impressed that we didn't have an original copy, but they weren't that worried about it. I think she likes me. Yeah. She I kept, think... Um, she kept giving me the, the eyes. It pays to have a handsome captain, what can I say? Yeah. Anyway. I'm so stoked. Yeah, we are stoked. So much anxiety gone. We had a little walk through Corfu before we went there and we were quite taken by it. So it's quite a magical place. I've never been to Greece before, Jackson has. And it's, it's just so cool. It's so, the culture and it's so exotic and it's just the origin of knowledge and the origin of language. And it's just, I'm loving being here already. So we can't wait to explore. Great news, we've got to go in this disgusting port water to go and get Jackson's drink bottle that I dropped. He loves his little seashell bottle. Even greater news, we've got to do it in my undies. Always making stuff look harder than it is to be. Sweet escape, keeper of my dreams, builder of my home. <laughs>